Hi everyone, and it's good to be back with all of you. Today's FrameMaker lesson topic is cross-references. Cross-references are links within a document that refer to a location within the same document or to a separate document. Cross-references are similar to text insets, which we discussed in lesson four. You'll find a link in the description below. Today, we'll need the quick access bar, cross-references pod, and cross-reference pod. We'll discuss inserting and deleting cross-references, in addition to identifying and resolving unresolved cross-references. Let's get started. First, we'll insert a cross-reference in file one that links to the heading Evolutionary History, also in file one. Notice that when I stand on the heading Evolutionary History, I see that the paragraph tag is heading two. We'll need this paragraph tag when inserting our cross-reference. To insert a cross-reference, place your cursor in your document where you want the cross-reference to appear. Then, open the cross-reference pod. First, choose the document where the cross-reference will link to, or the source document. In this case, our cross-reference will link to our current document, so I choose current from the document drop-down menu. If your cross-reference refers to a location within a separate document, simply choose the correct source file from the document drop-down menu. Our source type is paragraphs. Next, we'll search for heading 2 in the paragraph tag list and choose evolutionary history. The format drop-down menu lets you choose the cross-reference format. I'll choose heading and page. Feel free to experiment with the other options on your own. Click insert and the cross-reference is inserted into your file. When I click on the cross-reference, notice that the text acts as one object, similar to a text inset. To be directed to the cross-reference source, select the cross-reference and hold down the Control and Alt keyboard keys simultaneously. Your mouse becomes a hand. When you click the cross-reference, you are directed to the cross-reference source. Notice the vertical bar to which you are directed. This bar is called a marker and is inserted into your file each time you insert a cross-reference. Let's say I delete the cross-reference marker and heading Evolutionary History and write the heading Amphibian History instead. When I open the cross-references pod, I see that this cross-reference is now marked with the red X. This means that FrameMaker can't find the source of the cross-reference, which is now considered unresolved. To resolve this cross-reference, we'll redirect it. Double-click the cross-reference and the cross-reference pod opens. From the Source Type drop-down menu, choose Paragraphs. Now scroll to Heading 2 in the Paragraph Tags drop-down menu and choose Amphibian History. Click Replace. Notice that the red X in the cross-references pod changed to a green X, indicating that this cross-reference is resolved. To delete a cross-reference, select the cross-reference from the cross-references pod and click Delete. That wraps up our lesson about cross-references. Let's summarize what we learned. We began our lesson by inserting and updating cross-references. Then, we learned how to identify and resolve unresolved cross-references, and finished up with deleting cross-references. Remember to show your support by liking this video and sharing the link with others. Thank you to my fellow subscribers, and if you haven't become one yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. A big thanks also to those who commented on Lesson 4. Your feedback and suggestions are important, 
So take a minute to add them below. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.